The Celtics down to four in the shot clock. Oh, he's denied. Oh, big man doing work right there. And now he's going to shoot a few more as he's fouled going up for it. Kemba Walker, a couple of free throws on the way. A career 83% free throw shooter. Knocks down the first. Oh, he shot one. Can't connect on the second, and he splits the pair to Waiters. To the rim, lays it up and in. Strong finish, that's what you need, regardless of contact, focusing on the rim. Boston with the basketball. To Kemba Walker. Give it to him. Kemba Walker. Tough shooting. Only two for six after that. That make. Attack mode isn't a switch that you can just turn on and off. He needs to do more of that. We need to see him penetrate, get into that lane, and create. Shoot. Ed, let me tell you how this one goes. It ain't no fun if the homies can't have some. Everyone's getting a piece of the rock tonight. Drogic into the front court. The lead is 11. Goran Drogic. He's now 5 for 6. Might have had an extra dribble or two there, but he got the shot he won. Celtics have it. To Hayward. Right, right, right. Short jumper won't go down. Dragic. Short jumper stays out. That's how you do it. You keep riding him to the basket, and if the refs aren't calling it, keep being physical. Keep knocking him off balance. Hayward. Short jumper off the mark. I'm not sure that the contest on the shot contributed to the miss, but what it might have done is seep into the confidence of the shooter that the next time he might decide to try to drive to the rim instead of settling for a jump. He'll let one fly from half court. That ends the third quarter, and the Heat right now are feeling good. It's the Celtics with the... ball as we start this fourth and final quarter and they're not totally out of it just yet but you'd have to say they have lots of work to do to get back in this game they probably have to put together some kind of 10-0 run to get back in this ball game but this is when an opportunity has a chance to become magical i've been part of it and i've seen it happen so many different times just because a team has been dominating you the last couple of quarters doesn't mean that you can't start believing in yourself that you can do anything you want to do on the court at any given time you watch once you start to believe you'll get back in this game Brown with it up top. His guys down big to Walker. Double, 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 double. 
Austin with four to shoot. Miami with the basketball. Dion Waiters powers it through. You know, it reminds me out of a story a legendary coach once told me. He said, if you ever get in a fight, you're not going to hit somebody with an open hand, correct? You'll probably break a finger. But if you hit somebody with a fist, what is that? That's five fingers working collectively together as one. That's how you deliver a knockout punch, and that's what we're seeing tonight. Waiters to Dragic. Butler. Close out, close out. Short jumper off the mark. Walker with the basketball. Down a bundle. Watch the cutter, watch the cutter, man. Hayward to Kemba Walker. Watch the pick. You see it, you see it. Missed it. Almost a foul. They let it go. To Butler. Nice pace, sets it up, and slams it down. And I have so much admiration for guys that continue to hunt their shot. They're playing the second half like it was the first five minutes of the ball game. Those natural-born leaders are guys that will consistently lead your team to the promised land. Missed a wide-open look. Yes, and the foul. And a chance at three coming up. That's his first personal foul. Team foul number one. Both coaches dipping into their reserves. Changes coming onto the floor. Free throws good to cap off the three-point play as they draw a tiny bit closer. It's the Heat with the possession. Cruises inside for two. Contact on a drive can be a beautiful thing. Making those tough shots can really help you build a mental advantage over your defender. To Walker. Layup's good. Those are the types of shots you always strive for. In the paint, you need to finish. Just like that. Two minutes, go. Got it. That's lunch pail business right there. Don't worry about the no call. Keep powering through. Walker into the front court. Looking to make something happen. Now ready with a couple of free throws. Just because a team's winning doesn't mean the refs are going to put away the whistle. Play right all the way through. Team foul number two. That's the first foul in the last two minutes. Misses the first. Second one's good. Splits the pair. Count the basket at the rim. As my mother would say to the defender, A for effort, F for results. To Hayward. Has a look. Knocks it down off the step back. 
And if you don't contest, he's knocking that down with ease. Miami's got it. He throws it down. At this point, they're twisting in the wind. Were you looking for a response from me? Because I don't really know what else there is to even say. I mean, is this even a game? I mean, we should just start packing up and getting ready to go right now. And look out. Big finish at the rim. Mm-hmm. We call that get your money and put it in the bank. Screw <laughs> right, screw right, screw right. Perfect feed to set up the basket. Well, we got a chance to firsthand watch something be created. I think we just watched an epidemic of passing. I've never seen something like this before. It was so contagious, everybody started to do it, and it ultimately led to the other team's demise. If that's an epidemic, sign me up. Just enough of a head fake to help on that one. <laughs> the okie doke. Let's see if he'll try that one again. Not done yet. Grabs his own miss and scores. Good concentration. Tatum with a piece. The Heat with the victory as they win this one in very convincing fashion. That'll wrap things up. For Jay Williams and our entire crew, I'm Ed Cohen. This has been a presentation of the NBA on EA Sports. post-game wrap-up. The Heat were simply amazing in this contest. The scoring display they put on is going to be hard to forget. It's hard to imagine anyone doesn't come away impressed with how effectively they score their points. What you see here is how the majority of the points were scored for the Miami Heat. The Celtics lost this game long before the final buzzer. Losses like this become main discussion topics in the media. So hopefully this team is ready to answer the tough questions. It's not going to be fun. What you see here is how the majority of the points were scored for the Boston Celtics. Game track. Bench points. The Miami Heat can confidently say it was the player of their substitutes that was a big reason, if not the biggest reason, for their success today. Tremendous job by the reserves to be impactful in this matchup. Player of the game. Butler gets the award for the most obvious reason, and that's his scoring output. He couldn't be stopped, and it was incredible to watch. isn't the segment you want to be in, of course, but even the best players find their way into this part of the show. Top plays, and we've got three of them for you. Number two. Number one. On behalf of ESPN on EA Sports, I'm Jalen Rose. We look forward to seeing you again.